The president set to release his tax plan Wednesday. We don't know just how, well, how much detail will be in it, but we'll find out when Treasury Secretary Mnuchin uh, says uh, the administration is focusing on three major priorities. Middle income tax cut, a priority of the president's. Simplification. The average American should be able to do their taxes on a large postcard. Business tax reform. We need to make business taxes competitive, and we expect with doing that, we will bring back trillions of dollars from offshore. Sounds like a plan, but apparently not quite good enough yet. Joining me now to discuss the busy week ahead for this president and the Congress, Senior Editor at The Federalist, Molly Hemingway, Pulitzer Prize winning columnist for The New York Post, Michael Goodwin. Thank you both for being here. Molly, I, I can only imagine your excitement at, the, at learning more about the tax reform plan. Actually, I really am excited about learning more about the tax reform plan. It's been 30 years since we've had any major revision in corporate tax rates. Obviously, it's a big reason why our economy has been sluggish, as it was for the entirety of Obama's eight-year term. And it's a big part of the Trump agenda to get the economy, to get the economy moving, get growth above 3%. And so it'll be interesting to see. I'm actually surprised, though, that he's including in this a middle-class tax cut, which could be a big deficit buster. You're and Well, it's... There's, there should be broad bipartisan consensus yeah. on reforming corporate tax rates. I think you'll see a lot of resistance from Democrats on improving the situation for middle class Americans. Maybe it's an opening bid. It yeah. will be very expensive. I think the middle class, if I, if I may say, Michael, I, I think the middle class ought to go absolutely ballistic if there's not a tax cut for the middle class. It's been shrinking. This president, in part, won uh, the presidency in focusing on the middle class, those jobs, and their wages, which have been stagnant for 30 years. Yeah, I, I think that that has to be part of it. Um, although, you know, for with incomes falling, I mean, I think that is the biggest problem. So people are going to be looking for some relief from the government. Uh, and I think it's also part it has to be part of a package in order to get buy-in for the tax for the in, uh, corporate tax, which of course the Democrats will resist. So, look, I, I think I think it's going to be a long slog and. They're doing it Wednesday, but I don't think they're going to give us much more than he has said here. Yeah, I think Molly probably uh, may have outlined it uh, every bit as well as, uh, as uh, <laughs> the Treasury Secretary might aspire to do. Molly, this is a, this is a difficult time because the 2001-2003 tax cuts did not result in job creation. Uh, this president's talking about what he said arguably, I believe, is uh, the, it was impre the impression we can derive from what he said. Uh, that it could be the largest tax cut uh, in personal income uh, rates, uh, you know, ever. Uh, I, I just, I, I just have a hard time understanding how, with a twenty, twenty trillion dollar national debt, ha a half a billion dollar uh, trade deficits, uh, and, a, and we know we're going to go above that in budget deficits uh, over the next five years. This is a tough time to say, you know, I want my fifteen percent corporate tax cut. Of which I respect and admire the president for ordering, but it's also going to be very tough uh, in terms of fiscal policy to achieve. Well, it is very important that people understand, though, that our high corporate tax rates, which are globally, you know, unmatched, they are so high, they're really corrosive to expanding business, to keeping business here in this country. That mm -hmm. is, if you reform those, if you reform the tax code as it relates to these big corporations that are easily finding it that they can just pick up and go elsewhere, that does help middle class voters. That helps all voters and yeah. all people who yeah. are beneficiaries of a thriving economy. Our economy has been so sluggish. There needs to be change here. But it is true that I don't think people care that much about deficits, at least as much as I do. But a middle class tax cut will be explosive to the deficit in a way that corporate tax changes might not be. Michael is nodding his head in, in uh, animated agreement. Uh, I, I, I'm reserving mine. Well, look, I, I think that the, the elephant in the room here, of course, is Congress. And the fact that the president is what looks to now to be rushing this out to beat the 100 days so he can say he has a plan within the 100 days. I mean, Mnuchin has already said he doesn't think anything will get through Congress this year. So they're, they're not terribly optimistic. But, but Lou, just uh, I think that Trump has a lot to point to, but the failure to, to repeal Obamacare, and I, and I agree with you on the failure of Paul Ryan's leadership, I think it does not bode well for anything no. that the president's pushing. 
if they don't replace this uh, this this speaker, uh, for want of a better uh, word, uh, they're 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 going to be in real real trouble. Uh, they've got enough without having to put up with a speaker who is has gone rogue and uh, frankly is suffering from delusions of grandeur. He's also MIA. I mean, where has he been? Well, he's Europe? pursuing his foreign policy. <laughs> don't you know? He's been in Europe uh, straightening things out over there. Uh, so that uh, when whatever his aspirations are are realized, uh, it'll all be set in place. I, the man is, has lost it. There's no question. Uh, Molly, I want to just say to you, the, uh, the, something that's not discussed in terms of corporate tax rates often enough, in my opinion, is the effective tax rate. And the effective tax rate in this country, as you know, is about 17 percent. So I think that the administration is running a huge risk here of overselling the impact of a cut even to 15 percent in the tax cut uh, and has to be, I, I would hope, uh, that they will be very careful here because they're not going to be able to make much headway for the reasons both that you and Michael have outlined. I, I mean, there, I just see all sorts of trouble being created uh, over in the House where they're not ready to, to line up. What do you think? Well a couple of things. One, I actually do think we'll see some news here on health care, and the fact that Paul Ryan has been quiet might be a good sign, given how poorly he handled the first rollout of, uh, of repealing Obamacare. Do you think this man really learns anything? I, I hope so. And the, the first rollout that's a, was... That's a, we, we, can, we, can all, we can join in hope, if not... Uh, it, and I'm being told we got to wrap up, so go ahead, please. But President Trump has made it clear that he would like health care taken care of before they deal with the tax rollout because yeah. it is important to get those savings that 900 so that, billion, right. that we, can, we can pay forward on these corporate tax rates. And the marginal tax rates are still cartoonishly high for, you know, when you compare it to what's happening in other like countries. That. Cartoonishly and a, <laughs> high. I mean, they're really out of step with what's happening in other countries, and this is I not mean, a way to be competitive in a global environment. It, it, Last quick word. Well, look, uh, I, she's obviously right about the about the corporate rates, uh, but but I but I do think that uh, the president is going to have a hard time getting anything through Congress that makes a difference to the middle class, and I think that is going to be the rub. And so I I predict he got elected building a wall. He got yeah. elected saying America first. He got elected saying that the American worker will no longer be the forgotten man. I don't care about tax reform. I don't care about any other part of that agenda. As long as he delivers on that, this president will be here for eight years to get it all done and much more. And he's off to a glorious start. That's the beauty of it all.